You wish to see me, sir? Yes, Mr. Obama. The Republic of Kenya needs your help to destroy America. Kenya isn't a republic yet. It will be in four years. We have used our evil voodoo magic to look into the future. Hey. Of course. What must I do? We have kidnapped and brainwashed this pure, beautiful, innocent white woman from America. You must take this woman's virginity, infect her with your seed and breed a child. Yes, sir. Oh. Now what? Now, we pretend the child is American. We have forged this birth certificate, but not a long form for some reason. Also, we will keep an official Kenyan birth certificate filled with inaccurate information, just because. Why didn't we just take him to American soil in the first place? Sorry, we are bad planners. Africans just aren't that smart. What next? We will raise the boy Muslim. But Kenya is mostly a Christian nation. No, that is just a cover. We need the Americans to think the boy Obama is Christian, since you are required to be Christian to be the president of America. President? How will we get my boy elected president? In the year 2000, a wise and powerful leader, George W. Bush, will be elected president. But the people will turn on him because of lies spread by the evil liberal media. When his term ends, so many Americans will be corrupted that they will vote a terrorist into office. It is a shame that a great man such as George W. Bush would be hated by the country. Do not worry. People will eventually realize he was right all along. We used our evil voodoo magic to look into the future again. Hey. So, when Barack Hussein Obama II gains power, he will turn this country into a socialist hellhole and force everyone to convert to Islam. This will obviously destroy the economy, and then Kenya will finally crush the United States. Yes, this plan is perfect! <laughs> <laughs> Pray, Satan.